Ah, uh, I get it. You're not doing your video because you think you don't look good enough. Is that what it is? That's what it is, isn't it? You see yourself in the video and you think that you don't look good. You don't look like you know what you're doing. Oh my God, and that's stopping you, isn't it? It's stopping you. That is what is allowing you to get in your own way. And in fact, you don't remember that actually you have more important things to worry about than getting in your own way. You want to get out of your own way so you can say the message. The message is more important. Learning how to articulate the message is more important because yes, we both know that it is a video is king world out there. That's what it is. Video is king world. And therefore, the message is more important. And not only that, but the message needs to be said well, because there's lots of other people saying the same stuff. It's just the only difference is that they say it shitty in a boring, lackluster way, and you will attract clients and future clients and all sorts of interest and engagement if you actually say it well. Say it with zest, with vim, vigor, verve, moxie. Say it in such a way that your heartfelt, honest, interesting, passionate things that you need to express are done in a fascinating and stylized, engaging way. Because you're now getting out of your own way and you're realizing that it's more about the message than it is about looking good on camera. Do you think that Stephen Hawking worried about looking good on camera? Yes, he wanted to look good, but he had severe physical disabilities and handicaps that prevented him from looking as good as you, he had a fully operational electric wheelchair that propped him up and he had to talk through a computerized voice simulator. And that did not stop him from getting out there. He had important messages for people because he was a brilliant astrophysicist. You while you may or may not be at the level on par with the brilliant Stephen Hawking, you still have an important, passionate, essential message to help people. And the, and if, if, if the only thing that's stopping you is that you think you don't look good on camera, oh my God, is that going to actually stop you? Are you going to let that prevent people who need your information, talent, passion, and method from getting it from you just because you want to get in your own way? I don't know what kind of mommy issues, daddy issues, or growing up problems that you learned that in school that you're not good enough, but I'm telling you, you are. And you need to get out of your own way, get over the fact that you don't look great at first, and learn this shit from someone like me. Because that is what is going to enable you to distinguish yourself from the bottom-feeding, white-noise herd of bullshit, lackluster, boring-ass delivery that is out there all over the place. You see it all the time. I see it all the time. What brings people to you is when you extract yourself from the herd and make a unique mechanism of stylized, unedited brilliance. In this video is king world. Does that make sense? It does, doesn't it? Is this on? <laughs> unedited brilliance is where you want to be. The way to do it is to get out of your own way. You gotta just stop worrying about what you look like and make that shit happen. Big, big, pure, powerful, passionate stuff. Unedited brilliance. Paul Gordon here, the art of face dancing. Hairy American pirate troll. Yar, matey, yar. Okay, bring it. Bring it now. Has this past year's pandemic not taught us anything more than the fact that we ought to do it now? Mmm, nice. See ya. And see you soon. Go get him.